What's up logical people? This is Amar back with another challenging Google interview puzzle. A stick is broken at two random points. What's the probability the three pieces can form a triangle? The points are randomly chosen independent of each other. So it's possible that when you cut them at two random points, the pieces can form a triangle. But it's also possible they cannot form a triangle. So you have to find out the probability that they form a triangle. In this video, I'll first explain a natural solution using the graph method. And then I'll explain a brilliant solution that can surprise even the interviewer. As very few people know about this solution. So pause the video and think logically. And consider subscribing this channel for more challenging puzzles. Let's break this stick of length L into three pieces of lengths L1, L2 and L3. Now the condition to form a triangle is that the addition of the lengths of any two pieces should be greater than the third piece length. So these two other combinations should also be satisfied to form a triangle. You can also consider the condition to form a triangle in this way. The length of any piece should be less than half of the total length of the stick. So L1, L2 and L3 each must be less than L by 2. Only then they can form a triangle. Let's quickly see an example. The total length 20 is divided into 3 pieces of lengths 8, 3 and 9. They can form a triangle because they satisfy the condition that the sum of any two pieces is greater than the third one. Let's also check with the other set of conditions, where each side must be less than half of the total length. So L by 2 here would be 10 and each condition is satisfied. But if we get the pieces as 7, 3 and 10, then they will not form a triangle because 7 plus 3 is not greater than 10. And on the right side we can see one condition fails, that is 10 is not less than 10. So you can use the conditions on the left or on the right. They both give the same results. And they represent the possibility the three pieces form a triangle. Let's see the first approach using the graph method. On the graph, first we will draw the equations of all possible combinations of lengths of the three pieces. Then we will draw the conditions that the three pieces can form a triangle. The ratio of these two areas would give the probability the three pieces can form a triangle. So let's first find out all possibilities of getting the three pieces. The stick is broken into three pieces. The length of each piece must be a positive value. So L1, L2 and L3 have to be greater than 0. Now to form a triangle, we know the condition is that the sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. To reduce the number of variables, let's represent L3 in the form of other variables. So L3 would be equal to L which is the total length minus L1 minus L2. So place this value of L3 in the equations below and simplify them. Now we need to plot these equations on a graph with x and y axis. So to make it convenient, let's replace L1 by x and L2 by y. We get the updated equations as shown. Let's draw all possible lengths on the graph x is greater than 0. To draw this, first we need to draw x equals 0. That is, a line passing through the 0 coordinate on x-axis. And the area towards the positive side to this line would represent the inequality x is greater than 0. Similarly, y is greater than 0. First we draw the line y equals 0. That is, a line passing through the 0 coordinate on y-axis. And the area towards the positive side to this line would represent the inequality y is greater than 0. 
Now, the darker shaded region represents a common area that satisfies both inequalities x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. So, discard the remaining area. Last condition, x plus y is less than L. So, first we need to plot the equation x plus y equals L. Getting the coordinates for this line is very easy. For x and y, place the values as 0 1 by 1. If x equals 0, y would be equal to L. If y equals 0, x would be equal to L. We get the xy coordinates as 0, L, which is this point on the graph, and L, 0, which is here. So, a line passing through these two points would represent the equation x plus y equals L. But we are interested in x plus y is less than L. So, it's simply the area towards the negative side to this line. So, the red highlighted area represents all possible lengths of the three pieces. We are done with the left part. Now, let's draw these conditions on the graph that shows the three pieces forming a triangle. Y is less than L by 2. Let's take the point L by 2 on the y axis and a line passing through this would have the equation y equals L by 2. The area towards the negative side to this line would represent the inequality y is less than L by 2. Similarly, from the remaining area, draw the equation x equals L by 2. And the area towards the negative side to this line would represent the inequality x is less than L by 2. We are now left with this common area. Now the last inequality is x plus y is greater than L by 2. So first draw the line x plus y equals L by 2. Once again the same approach. If x equals 0, y equals L by 2 and vice versa. We get the coordinates. Draw the coordinates. And a line passing through these two points would represent the equation x plus y equals L by 2. But we want to draw the x plus y is greater than L by 2. So, it's simply the area towards the positive side to this line. And from the leftover area, only this portion satisfies the condition. We can discard the remaining area. So, here we have the red area for all possible lengths and green area for the lengths of the pieces that can form a triangle. As we can see, out of four symmetrical portions, only one portion satisfies the condition of making a triangle. So the probability the three pieces can form a triangle is the ratio of these two areas and that's equal to 1 by 4. This was a classic approach to solve such problems. But let me show you another outside of the box approach that can even surprise the interviewer. For this solution, we will be using Viviani's theorem. Say you have an equilateral triangle with an altitude h. Consider a point interior to this triangle. Take three perpendiculars to the three sides from this point. The addition of these three lengths would always be equal to the altitude h. This is called as Viviani's theorem. Before we use it to solve our problem, let's quickly prove this equation. Consider B as the base of the triangle. So the area of this triangle would be a half times base times height. Now in the picture, let's split the triangle into three smaller triangles with heights h1, h2 and h3. The base is going to be the same, that is B, as it's an equilateral triangle. The total area of the bigger triangle would be the sum of the areas of three smaller triangles. From the top equation, we already know the total area is a half times base times h. So take this on the left hand side of the equation and let's simplify the right hand side. Cancel the common terms and we get capital H equals h1 plus h2 plus h3. That was the proof to the Viviani's theorem. Now let's see how we can use it to solve the main problem. Consider the given stick has the length h. 
After breaking randomly at two points, we get three pieces of lengths H1, H2 and H3. The location of the interior point depends upon the lengths of the three pieces. This interior point can be present anywhere inside this triangle. So this complete shaded region represents all possible locations of the interior point. And that's why this region also represents all possible combinations of the lengths of the three pieces. Out of this big area, we need to find out a portion that represents the possibilities the three pieces can form a triangle. Let me remind you the condition to form a triangle. For this approach, we will use the condition on the right side. That is, length of each piece should be smaller than half of the total length. So, to form a triangle, each of H1, H2 and H3 should be smaller than capital H by 2. Let's draw these conditions. H1 should be less than H by 2. So, to form a triangle, the interior point should not cross this line. It has to be somewhere under the H by 2 line. This shaded region represents the inequality H1 is less than H by 2. Similarly, H2 has to be less than H by 2. So this shaded region represents the inequality H2 is less than H by 2. Finally, the same thing is applicable for H3. Now, out of all three shaded regions, the only common area that satisfies all three conditions is the central region highlighted in green. And that represents the condition to form a triangle. So, to form a triangle, the interior point has to be inside this smaller triangle. If it crosses the limit of the green triangle, then one of the conditions would not be satisfied and the pieces will not form a triangle. This green area represents possibilities that three pieces can form a triangle. And this bigger red area represents all possible combinations of the lengths of the three pieces. Here, one out of four symmetrical portions represents formation of a triangle. So the probability the three pieces can form a triangle is 1 by 4. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic puzzle every week. Till then, give a try to these Google interview puzzles. Also check out chess puzzles on my channel, Logically Yours.